What is up guys? Welcome back to another Arena of Our Esports review. And this time, of course, we're gonna be continuing that first quarterfinal of the APL 2020. Uh, Flash Wolves going up against Talon here uh, for game two of this um, first quarter final. Now again, Zip, uh, we're gonna be going through the draft as always. Zip uh, being instantly banned by Flash Wolves. As I said, they have to perma ban it for the rest of the series pretty much, or they can decide to give Talon uh, that Zip wants um, to make those remaining drafts easier, right? Now, we have, of course, a Kefani ban coming out again. They really don't seem to like giving it to Muwan, so they uh, they banned it twice in a row already. Um, Talon here uh, is banning away Richter and that Alice. As I said, these super OP picks, they already picked them, and that enables that D Rock first pick on the side of Flash Wolves. That is a huge pick already. That is such a strong pick. So again, they might try to balance the rest of the roster and not pick the OP heroes right now. And Talon actually decides to combat this D-Rock with super broken picks instantly as well. Laviel and Florentino coming in. So again, they're just, they are not trying to be conservative here. They just try to pick away. Like what, what Talon could have done, they could have troll picked try to beat this D-Rock, but um, for the next games, they have D-Rock, they have all these picks available, and uh, Flash Wolves at that point pretty much has to uh, ban too many things, and they might win the rest of the series, you know? It is a best of seven, so you have to win four games, guys. That is absolutely crazy. Again, Flash Wolves, very nice pick coming in here. The Joker is a good counter pick against Lavil, but again, not a good pick by itself. It's not a super strong pick, but they decide to go for a Joker. And now they didn't invest too strong of a Marksman pick, but still got something really good because they're countering that Lavia. Uh, Chi coming in, of course, Heroes, very nice performances on Chi so far throughout this tournament. So we'll see if he can keep up that streak. Um, is, I think, a Florentino counter as well, from what I've heard. So we'll see what this last pick is gonna be. Um, if they don't pick a Mage here on Talon's side, um, Flash Wolves might um, ban out these mages. Liliana is already picked uh, by Talon, so they cannot pick this anymore. If if they ban Crixie and Marja, then Talon will be very limited in their mages. Maybe they don't want a, a Raz, um, or maybe they ban a Raz, and yeah. Zill picked up. That's a really nice pick because they are picking their jungler while also allowing uh, the mid laners to go mages or that malloc right so we might see a malloc ban coming out by um flash wolves here i would really like to see a malloc ban they decide to ban that chognar chognar of course a very nice counter to joker believe it or not but also to that chi and maybe they are trying to pick something um flash wolves is trying to pick some more aoe cc maybe they're going for a darcy Maybe they are going for a Darcy, but again, Darcy just gets countered by the by the um, Purified br Bracers item as well. Um, Zeph is being banned on the side of Talon, of course. What is their second ban going to be? It should be a jungler again, yep, because uh, Flash Wolves doesn't have a jungler yet. They already picked their Zill, so they will ban away these junglers. Zill gets countered by Zeph is really hard, and Zill also kind of, you know... Um, doesn't like to play against Rourke, I would say, because Rourke, he can't burst down the shield before Rourke can get an auto attack and heal it back up. And yeah, we have that um, Joker, of course, but that can be a double marksman matchup uh, on uh, double marksman team composition on Flash Wolves. We have that uh, Marja being picked. I'm gonna skip a little bit here. Fang being picked uh, as a support pick. Um, yeah, both teams don't really have a support yet uh, before that thing pick so we'll see what comes through here the Alice is banned of course um, but all the other supports are pretty much up except for Chognar if you want to pick him as a support um, we'll see what gets picked here what's good against the thing I mean there's so many supports still available Baldum is available um, is Baldum good here though I'm not sure I don't think so 
Uh, we'll see though, they need a jungler still. They of course have many assassins available, but I feel like they might go for a double marksman. Yeah, Lumber is still available. Of course, it's a super good pick. You can't see it because of my webcam there. Um, we'll see what this last... Yeah, see, the double marksman is gonna come through with that Fennec jungle. Uh, very nice pick as well. Again, not one of the strongest picks, but still really good to run out this roster. And Flash Wolves has an incredible early game team composition. Lumber, super potent early game with that passive that buffs up your uh, guy. See, that's why I, I would have liked to see a, a Malok ban, because as I said, uh, that Malok coming in here by Hawk, um, when you have a mage jungler, you definitely want to pick up that Malok most of the time in that mid lane. Just such a strong pick for the mid lane um, if you have enough magic damage in your team comp. And yeah, this is exactly what is coming out here. I need to reposition here a little bit and we're going to skip to the game. Again, if you don't like seeing these uh, drafts, just always skip them. Uh, yeah, it, you can just skip like three minutes and see. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Like, uh, yeah. I know a lot of you guys actually won't be enjoying these drafts, but I feel like recording them. I think it's fun for me as well. It's gonna improve my uh, game sense and stuff as well, which is a good practice for Wild Rift. And yeah, just all in all, <laughs> uh, very nice. And I think a lot of you guys, uh, some of you guys will appreciate it really hard. Anyway, we have, um, of course, that uh, D-Rock in the mid lane, such a broken pick. Uh, for that late game, I would say Zill is pretty good at taking him down though. Um, Zill is also a huge counter to Joker as well. So that Zill pick was definitely a good choice. Um, that Fennec is really good into the Zill though, believe it or not. He can just roll away and it is just really clean. So we'll see how this turns out. You can see the Lavil is already completely destroying this um, bottom lane matchup just does so much damage, guys. Lovil is incredibly broken. But again, Talon picking even more of these broken heroes. Florentino um, and that... Um, what's it called? Lovil coming through. While again, on the side of Flash Wolves, they only picked one OP hero. And that is that D-Rock. Okay? So, Talon already... Game in um, Two games in, they already used four OP heroes. Alice, Richter... Florentino and um, Laville, and I would put Malok on that list too. Honestly, I would put Malok on that list. He's so in insanely strong. On the side of Flash Wolves, we only have two broken picks used yet, and that was, of course, the Zip and that D-Rock now. So, absolutely insane um, draft advantage already coming through for Flash Wolves here. Now, um, Talon is out rotating them a little bit here is getting those first wave clears in despite playing against D-Rock in the mid lane so that's really well played and now this joke uh, this joker is just completely getting wrecked which really defeats the pick if you're losing early game i feel like this lumber should be simping uh joker a little bit more because if you lose early game as a joker there's just no point picking it and he already has that disadvantage in those levels they really need level 4 onto him. 1k gold advantage already for Talon. This is just not good gameplay coming in by Flash Wolves right now. Uh, Talon just maybe just playing much better, but 1k gold advantage without anything dropping on the map is just really, really peculiar. You don't really see it often. And we have a J-Jack just huge S1 onto that Thane. Three people, uh, three people ult as well. And Malok connects that ult as well. Very well played by both of them. And they actually have to disengage that Abyssal Dragon because it ended up resetting. That is a terrible little mistake there by them to let that reset. They got a huge advantage in that fight, but they couldn't capitalize on it at all. Um, Lumber ult being used, because so they will still get this Abyssal Dragon very easily. Lavil will help here and it's going to burn down super, super quick to that Zip and Lavil combo. Again, 1.2k gold advantage for Talon. They are incredibly happy with the way this game is progressing so far. Uh, they are already poking this bot lane tower. I have to, I have to point out J-Jack, man. He got caught often late, uh, late game last game, uh, which kind of lost them the game. But he just plays so incredibly well in these games. 
and a very nice Joker build being um, shown there. I would probably not go for a Death Sickle, I would go for a, an Omni Arms instead, but this is pretty much what I run as well. It is such a strong pick. Uh, I will uh, showcase it again because it's been a long time since I uh, uploaded the Joker video. So just to keep you guys updated with that best build, Rank Breaker Fenrir is so much damage and then you go instantly for that Muramasa because they will start stacking armor and the Rank Breaker Muramasa combo is so underrated. Um, many people think it's not worth to go to armor items, but it really is. And yeah, we'll see how this uh, turns out right now. We have, of course, that um, we have, of course, uh, that Talon roster being very confident here. 1.3k gold advantage. They are just poking away on these towers, going super deep into this enemy, uh, into this enemy territory around the red buff. Uh, Jajak is so tanky. I'm sure he has some armor arcana as well in there. Like, look how little damage he is taking by that um, Joker rocket there. And Joker really isn't too far behind. 2.1k gold. Um, it's still a decent amount of gold, you know. So, taking so little damage. Yeah. It's just Thane, man. Thane is one of the tankiest heroes in the entire game. And we have that zip. Uh, that Zill top. He is gonna... Probably get this um, Chi kill. Yes, they are able to get this first blood. They didn't show the decided to show this mid lane fight. Um, but of course, Chi dropping. They get this first tower of the game as well. Dirac ult hits that Florentino, but not enough to kill him. And now this is just not looking too hot. Oh my god, beautiful lobby ult. Picks up and not another, excuse me, uh, my. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But um, we seem to be having some hiccups. But um, yeah, this uh, huge Laviel ult, very well played by Muwan, gets that Dirac secured there. And now it definitely seems like Talon Esports is uh, in a very, very nice lead here. On, only still a 1.4k gold lead. The gold lead is not really increasing too much so far. Oh my god, look at this Joker just burning down this Laviel. This is exactly why it is a counter to Laviel. However, he was so low HP already that he was not able to um, trade that kill. And yeah, now that Chi is again, might get dove again here. Zill just playing super well around the vision. But that Fennec is trying to go for a counter gank and he goes for it. But they are able to just get away with all their jumps. Very nice little engage there, gives them some breathing room. Allows them to clear out that wave and all of a sudden we see an almost 2k gold lead now coming in by Talon. So again, they are um, enlarging their uh, lead here. They are also going to be getting that, um, almost burning down that bot lane tower. Probably not though. They're probably just going to try to go for that Abyssal Dragon here. Still is going to clear his blue buff and we might see a fight at the Abyssal Dragon. We see a very um, interesting build coming in by Fennec with that Rank Breaker as a second item. Uh, we'll see how much damage he's going to be dealing with that. And now I want to see if this um, if this Zill is going to be able to get this um, Abyssal Dragon here. They are able to poke away the enemies a little bit. Jajak super low, but of course we have that um, Lumber dropping low as well. And now... Huck gets completely caught here, and no matter how tanky you are on that Malok, if you get caught by that Chi ult, and uh, just three people beating away on you, you are going to be dropping. And now JJ gets caught as well, and huge comeback actually, coming in for the Flash Wolves. The gold lead is merely 1k right now, and they are able to clear that, and they might be able to get this bot lane tower and the Abyssal Dragon, and at that point, it is a huge comeback. So... What we're seeing so far in this series, in both games, uh, Talon winning the early game, winning that mid game, but then as soon as that late game starts rolling out, we see Flash Wolves with the better macro. So uh, very interesting to see here, Huck um, gets poked down by that Dirac a little bit, but again he is super tanky, he has that Gaius already, and um, that Florentino has that Omni Arms, you can see the item builds coming through, uh, the double crit combo coming in for Laviel, so he is already juiced up on his power spike. 
Meanwhile, Joker's still not close enough to that Fenrir's, okay? And that Fenrir's is gonna be a nice... It's probably the strongest point of Joker, that Fenrir's. So he is still very strong mid-game. But at that point, he will keep getting weaker and weaker. So, yeah. Um, Malok counter engaging with his ult. Joker burns down that Thane there. I'm sure he has that burn enchantment, the red one. Um, at least I'm pretty sure he has that. Because I don't see a way, <laughs> another way that uh, Thane would drop to Joker there. Um, Richter get, uh, I mean d -Rock getting caught by that Florentino. is able to push him away though with that ult and S1. Picks him up with the, uh, with the laser as well. Super well played. Nice engage coming in by that Lumber with that ult flicker. And Chi follows up. But the enemy still had those Arctic Orbs available and are able to get away. Huge. Like, guys, we are seeing a gameplay. This is creme de la creme. AOV gameplay right here. Both teams just so good at the game. Uh, playing super well here. Zill, huge power spike, completed that Hikate, is gonna go for, um, ooh, ults onto that Fennec, but again, you saw that counter, right? Fennec can just dash away, and Zill ult is pretty much gone, but they were still able to get a kill onto that Dirac, I believe, there. Uh, evening out the score, 4-4, four to four. gold is very even right here. <laughs> the Lumber walks into the tower, tries to cancel the enemy's backport there on that Lobby, I think. But uh, was not able to get there in time. And now this Joker is just going deep onto this Zill. But Zill is able to pick him up before. Of course, Zill a huge Joker counter. But the Fennec is there to clean him up in the end. So again, just even trades coming in. Um, I think it was better for uh, Flash Wolves here. Because Zill had to... Um, uh, Zill lost his buffs, right? To that Fennec. So yeah. Um, Zill still picks up his blue buff though right after it spawned and they are chilling here they are able to clear these waves bottom lane tower finally being taken down by Talon they are ahead one tower now however positioning bot lane they are going to be losing this slayer right now we'll see if Chi can try to clear this wave she decides to back out um, she still has her ult available she can just ult this wave never mind she doesn't even have to and they trade a tier 2 tower and a tier 1 tower for, an, uh, for the Slayer, which is definitely worth for Flash Wolves here if they can use this Slayer well. If they can get this team fight right here, um, they might just completely win the game, but um, not able to. Anyway, that Abyssal Dragon dropping, they are getting all the advantages right now, so definitely a good decision for Flash Wolves to go for that Slayer instantly. Um, they are in, very, in a very good spot, but again, Lavil is the strongest hero in the late game. <laughs> Even stronger than D-Rock, I would say. So, uh, while they do have D-Rock and a double marksman combo, Lavil is just so incredibly strong. Maloc, so incredibly strong. Florentino as well. Um, Thane, also a strong late game hero, in my opinion. And, yeah, Zill also pretty decent. Meanwhile, we have... I mean, Chi is also not a bad late game. She needs to get those ults. And if she gets those, she is, uh, she can just completely turn around games and team fights by herself. So again, th th this meta is just really hard to predict to just say who's better late game, uh, because it all depends on how you use those abilities. A lot of really game breaking abilities are in this meta right now, like the D Rock Wall, like that Chi ult, like that Maloc ult, like the Florentino just jumping around. Um, yeah just huge um lavil ult lavil damage all of that stuff is just so incredibly potent in that late game you never know who pops off who gets left alone during a team fight who gets instantly killed during a team fight uh, who gets caught so yeah we'll see if this um flash wolves roster is going to be able to keep pushing their advantage by pushing this bot lane and they are going to be getting that abyssal uh, dragon as soon as it spawns i don't think talon will try to fight for it Ooh. Zill goes in, uses that Arctic Orb, instantly gets dropped down though. The Joker, I think, flickered away instantly before Zill was able to get that ult onto him. And that is just absolutely insane right now. They are able to completely uh, finish this team fight by getting a kill onto that Maloc as well. And now this is just very, very awful for Talon Esports right now. 
because now they have that D Rock. Um, uh, I mean, D Rock doesn't have his wall, so the, the push can still be stopped, I think. Yeah, maybe not. Ooh, Joker pushing, poking really well. Lovil just gets completely caught. It suicides for the wave, though, so it's worth. Uh, because he saved that tower with that um, death of his. He was able to clear out that wave. He instantly respawns, clears out the mid lane wave as well with that endless cycle. So again, very well played there by Lavil, despite him seeming like he's a noob getting caught there. Uh, definitely saving his team those uh, tier 3 towers, which is really huge. But again, Flash was instantly turning around, going to that Slayer, but I don't think they can get it. I don't think they can get it. They get, um, yeah, they get attacked by Talon here. They have to back out. But again, Talon can't really get anything by themselves either. And that mid lane tower completely burnt down to half HP by that cannon minion. J Jack completely gets caught like last game in the late game here. And now this is again just a terrible situation for, um, ooh, Hawk ult decides to go back in. And now that Zill is deep right now, uses Arctic Orb once again, is able to dash away. And this is such a good team fight for Talon Esports. But I think Flash Rules is just gonna be able to disengage. No one dropping. Heroes trying to get a trap, not able to. They, they spot out the J-Jack in that bush though. And again, this Abyssal Dragon is enraged now. And this is gonna be a huge point of con, uh, of con, test i don't know how to say that anyway of contention i think but i'm not sure guys let me know if you are an english professor um i'm of course the gaming professor but not i mean i am an english professor let's be real my english is pretty hey it's pretty on fleek boys okay pretty pretty fly okay anyway we have that um both teams just dancing around that slayer right now uh trying to secure vision Malok ult used, which is a huge disadvantage right now, because it didn't really do much. Heroes is poked out though. Oh my god, they are able to engage onto this Lumber, but he is able to jump away. And now we... Meanwhile, Fennec was just soloing Abyssal Dragon. I completely missed it. Jesus Christ, and so did Talon. That was an insane macro coming in by Kato here. Very impressive jungler. Super underrated guys, let's be real. He is clowning on these pro junglers and people just keep hyping up ADC, keep hyping up Bang, keep hyping up Happy as well. Neil, of course, but hey boys, don't sleep on Kato. This guy is crazy good. And yeah, we have that. Um, I mean, 3 0 and 6 onto uh, Fennec. That speaks for itself. Uh, definitely hard carrying this game so far. And yeah, I would say D Rock is hard carrying too because those lasers have been beautiful. We have that enemy blue buff being stolen now uh, by that D Rock. He is definitely gonna get it. Zill try. Ooh, watch out for that Zill though. Did she get a solo kill? Let me go back. Yeah, she just gets a solo kill. Um, she just ends up getting a solo kill. Very well played. Huge disadvantage. I think this is the game ending push now because. Florentino is dead and he does not have Endless Cycle available. So that is just going to be terrible right now. Um, this, double marks, this double marksman comp is going to make quick way off these towers, of these tier 3 towers. And yeah, guys, it seems like uh, the just in general, the, um, the Taiwanese teams seem to be the strongest this tournament right now. Because Flash Wolves is clowning on Talon right here. Not only are they winning this series right now, 2-0 after this game, they're also, I mean, I think they're gonna end. There's there's no way, right? Unless I'm stupid, right? I don't I don't know how long the game will be, but I think they're gonna end right here because that Florentino is gonna respawn, but that, um, ooh, huge catch, huge catch coming in by, uh, oh my, look at this. Gee, man, come on, dude. Guys, we have to see that again. Like, I can't even commentate this. This is just crazy. He just S1 flickers, ult, boom, burns him down almost. Then burns him down with that ult. Uh, predicts the flash, uh, the dash away from Zill as well. And completely ends the game by himself. Crazy. Heroes is so good, man. And yeah, definitely a huge part of Flash Wolves' success so far. But guys, Flash Wolves is just absolutely crazy right now. They are winning while using less OP picks. This is just so bad for Talon right now. 
I have no idea how they're gonna come back in this series right now. 4-1 and 4 on that G, just incredible gameplay coming in. Uh, Joker actually most damage. Now that is me being a clown because Joker doing so much damage. It means he just hits so many uh, rockets. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys the next time. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.